Dr. Hoofs, Applejack, a true love, by Stitch Dump. It has been a very normal day at Sweet Apple Acres when Applejack had to take care of the farm and her sister when she's been sick lately. Big Macintosh was actually to Appaloosa to help their cousin, Braeburn, and Granny was also away to Las Pegasus with some of his friends. So Applejack had to look after her sister, even though that Applebloom didn't want her to take a look after her that she thought that she could do it herself. But since having a high fever makes her not as qualified to do telling that herself. Even before Applejack, before Big Mac and Granny left, they told Applebloom to listen to her sister because when having a high fever, she's not qualified to tell him what she wants to do. Even as she asked if she could have Sweetie Bloom and Skrulu over for a visit, but both of them, all of them said no because she's had a high fever and they don't want to risk it to contagious their friend, her friends too. And that she's very sick with high fever, and she doesn't have that much energy in herself. So she all she needs is rest and calm. Abba Bloomberg was the one to listen, but she has to, and she tried to escape the house to go to the clubhouse where her friends were, but Applejack found out and immediately found her, found her, and even told Sweetie Bloom and Scootaloo not to use the clubhouse until the week, before the end of the week, until Apple Bloom is better again. But at the same time, she couldn't do it. She tried to keep her and her, an eye on her sister and also take care of the farm. But after two days, Apple Bloom gave up hope or gave up to try to escape the house. But she was allowed to go walk around in the house, but never leave it. Except when she was outside to call for, for Applejack. That was the only time she was allowed. But the four days after when she had left to take care of Applebloom, part of the barn was falling apart. And Applejack needed help, but since Applebloom was sick and her other family members was away, she could ask her some of her friends to help, but they were also quite busy at the school at the day, at the moment. But the only other ponies that she knows that could help her was actually Dr. Hoops, one of the few scientific ponies in town. She actually went as Derby, who is a friend of him, to, after he could come over. And he did. And uh, Dr. Hoops had asked Applejack what was wrong, and he actually, then she explained to him what was happening. And he took a around on the building and found the parts that had swung apart. And he was saying, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then he figured out some things that could be fixed and some things that had to be replaced with something else or that something had to be upgraded. And Applejack had asked Dr. Hooves how much it would cost him to repair the things or perhaps an upgrading to do some of the some of the things on the barn. Normally he would take 50 bits for, for all that work, but since she's a friend of Derpy and she's a real need of help, he said he would do it for free this time. Applejack was very happy to hear that because she didn't have that much money to pay for it. Even if he, he had maybe half of it, she would only allow to pay the rest of it at another time. But he said that he didn't have the right equipment with him, but he would go back in town and ask for some pony help him to carry all the things back to the barn so he can repair it. And Applejack allows it. So he left. About a half hour later, he returned with bulk biceps. Bulk biceps was there also to help to carry some of the heavy things and holding up while Dr. Hood repaired it. After nearly an hour of working, all the things was rebuilt and restored or even upgraded. Applejack thanked both Bolt Biceps and Dr. Hood about the help and offered them an apple pie for each one, for their health, for their, from the heavy work. 
At first, Doctor Hook wanted to couldn't accept a pie for it as a as as a thanks, but he agrees. And when they left, Applejack was looking after Doctor Hook's, and when Anne saw she do it, she's starting to blush, and she could felt her heart was beating faster. It was like something that she had never felt before. She wondered, wonders. Is this is something that, if she has been holding Applebloom sickness? But she didn't know. By the end of the week, Applejack looked around at Applebloom to see if he has any still high fever. And luckily, the high fever was gone and was she still fully recovered. But Applejack said that she still had to stay in the house at least for another day. Just in case if the fever didn't want to come back, but because it has happened before with Apple Bloom when when she was younger, and Apple Bloom didn't mind to stay in, stay in the house just one more day, even though that she wanted to run out of the house and into town to spend time with her friends, but she couldn't wait. And the next day, Applejack gave her permission to leave the house, but only to keep it calm. And don't even rest the rest too much. And agreed, and as Apple Bill agrees, she ran all the way to town to spend time with her friends. And even at the same time, Apple Jack looked around, was working around the, on the farm just to do some basic work, maybe feeding the animals, like some apples, and to store them in the barn. And even, even was impressed how much work that Dr. Hooks and all the bites that have done for on the farm over time. Even much of his work was very impressive. She was actually starting feeling she should do something for him for his health, but she didn't exactly know what to do. So she wonders, should she do something special for him? But exactly what? She had no idea. Maybe th that she could ask some of her friends if they had any suggestions or an idea what she could do for him. And even ask Derpy, because she's the most closer friends to Dr. Cooks than the other friends are. Unfortunately, Derpy was un unavailable to ask because she had to take care of the mail business over the day. So she had to ask Rarity, Apple uh, App Rainbow, and Walleye. But they didn't exactly don't even know either because all of them had their own opinion what to do. Rarity said that she could do something something fashionable for him. Rainbow said maybe give us a book about Daring Two. And Twilight gave him thought maybe just do something that you like that he likes and perhaps do something that for him. So but she even asked Pinky. What well, was going to try to ask Pinky, but she was so busy at Sugar Cup Corner that day, so she couldn't. So the only time she went back to her farm to figure out what is that he likes the most, and then she know the answer: science. Doctor Hoops spent a lot of time to about study about science. Since he's an Earth pony like her, she has been studying a lot of science over the past few years when he moved. He even worked as a teacher, well, at least a part-time teacher at the school there, teaching about scientific research, about how to plan submarines, or how much about the space, astronomy, and it just was some basic of science. He even tried to improve much of the scientific, most of the community in town, like transportation, or try to increase the improve some of the car system. How about Trying to well, trying to improve the environment and how to see how much they can work. Some of the things actually worked out really well. So Applejack thought, what about maybe maybe he can do some some machine or something for him? But he wasn't that good at science as it was. So then she decided maybe that he could do maybe a pie. But something different, and he 
she knows that he likes apple. And then she decided maybe that he could do a pie with his cutie mark on pork. And that was something that she had never done before. And she remembers that her mother used to do that when she was younger. And she had a, a cookbook with that particular recipe. She went back home, tried to look in the kitchen, everywhere, but couldn't find a book. So she went up the attic, looked around some boxes, and she found it. She went straight to the kitchen and started baking this. And unfortunately, the first time she tried, it confirmed to a crisp. The second time, it was also burned like charcoal. But the third time, it was just perfect. So she took it, put it in a box, and went all the way to Dr. Hood's workshop. And luckily he was there, and he wasn't doing any particular business in his work. So she knocked on the door, he opens, and he was surprised to see her there. And um, then she asked him if she ever was busy or something, he said no. And he asked her, she asked him if he was available for me to have something to eat with her and he looked at her but the confused eat yeah and she explained that she had to bake a pie and maybe that he wanted to well, take some break or maybe go to the park have some like do some, some nice nice time as a thanks for him apple bloom the apple jack was waiting for an answer and he said yes so they actually went to the park when she opened the box he saw his cutie mark on it. He was actually impressed how as little detail about his cutie mark. And he actually was impressed at how much work she had put into it. It was caught easily. And she had even two bottles of apple cider from apple at the family meal. And Applejack was actually in, had a great time. And after this, Dr. Hoofs actually remained with Applejack at the park and they start talking and they talked a lot of things, from scientifically, from his research, his works, and about her work at the farm, how much it is that she really impressed him about his work with the repair of the farm, everything else. And he even asked about his mother, her childhood events with her friends, like the adventures when they stopped the enemies like Crystallis, Tirak, the Storm King, every the, many of those great villains. Every time he listened carefully, he stood there and listened to every word she told him. And later they actually said good before the first ending goodbye. Dr. Hoof then asked if Applejack maybe wanted to go out with her. They went out with him. And Applejack said yes that we needed to. Because during the time she actually had been liking him even more and more. So they decided to go out on the restaurant the next day at as dinner. When she came back to the farm, Big Mac and Granny Smith had arrived back home and she told them about her date with Dr. Hulk after he helped to repair the farm. Big Mac looked at his sister and what happened, she asked. So she showed him some of the new things on the barn, that some of the boards was rotten and has been falling apart. And he didn't notice it much because he has been working there and he spent some time with Sugar Bell. And, but he was just happy to let the barn was fixed and he was happy for his sister and give her support. And even the night before her date with Dr. Hooves, she was very excited and she could barely sleep that night. But she even remembers some of her old tricks how to fall asleep without from her mother had told her. She took a glass of warm milk and some, uh, some cookies and she fell asleep right away. The next day, she took help at the farm, like took after the animals, like some apples and 
small work to do. Try to keep her mind occupied, not to focus on the on the date. But when the time was almost close, Applejack was actually was getting ready. She put a some ribbon in her in her mane and went straight to the town to the sugar corner where Dr. Hoods was waiting. Dr. Hoods had put out had put on a, a suit just to be more elegant. And he was so nervous because this was his actually first date in a long time. But when he saw Applejack, he felt even more nervous, but at the same time happy. The day boat actually went to the restaurant. At the first they was they didn't say much at all until he actually broke the silence by saying how beautiful she was and she is except things and she look and she told them that he looks so elegant. Even that not much he has not sense of fashion, but he still looks as elegant. But both of them actually enjoyed their day together and their dinner was just going so well. And after that they had their the dinner, they actually decided to take a stroll together to town, just having some good time talking. But the most of the other otherwise Applejack had noticed how much silent he had been since they left the restaurant. And she asked him if something was wrong. And he said, no, not, nothing is wrong, but that he hasn't been on a date in a long time and he was a bit nervous still. And then suddenly, Applejack just stopped and he stopped. And he looked at her and she kissed him. That took him off guard. And he kissed her back. And they stood there kissing. It felt like an eternity when it was standing there. But after a few minutes, they looked at each other and said, I love you. After the other kind of felt this happy in a long time. After seeing she lost her parents in young age, she wonders if she could be have found in her special dog pony someday. And she seems to have a found him. And after that day, Dr. Hoods was quite busy as many much, since he's a part-time teacher and his workshop. But Applejack didn't mind that, because she had this part of school as well, and take care of this as at the farm and helping with some other friends around the around the town, so she has been trying to be occupied with the same thing. But they spend a lot of time together on their spare time, which was during the weekends. But then one day, after nearly four years of being together, Applejack and Doctor Hoops was actually at the farm, spending some time, and then. He actually showed her an apple. An apple. And she wonders if she was going to take it. But then suddenly he took his other hoof and opened it. It was actually a ring inside the apple. There was a fake apple. And he asked her if she wanted to marry him. And she and she said yes immediately and she started hugging him and kissing him because she has never been so excited so happy to be married with him she had never expected him to ask him that to ask him this particular question but she was actually just happy that he asked her because on most of the time Applejack has never been so happy. Even after right, they even told Applejack's family, and all of them were so excited. They didn't actually expect this kind of event, not till at least another few years later, but Applejack was just so happy, and especially with them as well. And on their wedding day, Granny Smith told Applejack that if her parents was there, 
they would be so happy to see her be married, especially with her such a strong point. And Applejack cried when her grandma just told her that, and she knows that she was right. And then, and then they actually went to a tropical island for their and their own for their honeymoon for three whole weeks. And two years later, Applejack and Doctor Hooves found out that she is going to be a mother, and she was so excited. And even Doctor Hooves could never be more excited to be a father. And especially to a son. And then the day came when he was born. And they named their son Apple Tie. Apple Tie looked like his own father, interested in science, but also at the same time, very want to help the family at the farm. He actually inherited her mother's strength and loyalty. And he actually remained at the farm. And he even got married when he was about 25, and he had two sons and one daughter, and they all stayed remained at the farm to helping, well, the family and the farm to continue. And four years later, they had another son, which they named Apple Boy. Apple Boy was actually born blind, but he had still very good sense to move around without any help. And his parents was actually very impressed of him. And he actually got himself married about in age 22. And he also remained at the farm and he had four daughters of his own. He was very very strange but he was very loyal even if he was blind. But he still loved his family no matter what. And that's how Dr. Hoops, Apple Young, for the true love, Got a big family. The end.